Hi everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get right into the reading. I really appreciate the engagement. You know, the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Like, I love hearing your stories. I love reading your comments, seeing what you guys have to say. Thank you for that. Thank you for the engagement, the support, helping me get back in the algorithm. And as you guys know, I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So don't try to force it to fit if it doesn't resonate. Like you should intuitively know if it's your story, it will it will resonate with you. And if this one's not your story, if this is not your energy group, then one of the other ones on my channel might be. But yeah, never try to force it to fit. Okay, what's the storyline here for someone? Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. Queen of Wands. The Eight of Wands. I feel like you're leveling up. There's a lot of fire here, a lot of passion. It's like someone's getting the spark back. Someone's... It's like someone's going from being the Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands. You know, it's like in the court cards, like there's the pages, there's the knights, and then there's the queen or the king, and there's the emperor or the empress. You're going, you've been the knight of wands. You've been passionate. You've been adventurous. You've been headstrong. You've been willing to fight necessary battles, you know, not just fighting just for the sake of fighting, but you'll stand up for what's right. You have integrity. And I almost feel like there was a period where you were just kind of resting and healing and integrating these energies. And now you've become the queen of wands. Like you're at that next level. You're, you're being initiated. You're leveling up in some way. You know, going from a knight to a queen here. Um, eight of wands, fast moving energy. You have some, yeah, now that you've gone through this initiation, this leveling up, you have good energy coming in. What is this? Let's see. Seven of swords and the moon. Seven of Swords, the Moon, the Emperor, the King of Swords, the Tower. Okay, there's something, okay, there's something going on here. It's just, wait, hold on. I can kind of feel it. It's like I'm tuning into it, but I'm like, wait, what the, what the fuck's this? Um, hold on. <laughs> Is this two men? Is this the same man? No. Okay, this is two different men, right? Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that there's going they're going to be similar in characteristics, but only one of them is the true divine counterpart? Okay, that's what's going on here. Because there's this sneaky energy. Because it's so strange because I'm looking at this and I'm getting two different energies. So like Son of Swords is kind of a sneaky energy. The moon can be things that are hidden. And I feel like there's both good and bad energies that are hidden, basically. I almost feel like... Okay, I know what's being said here. Okay, so you just went through that, you know, maybe a psychic awakening, a leveling up, an initiation. Again, you went from being the page of wands to being the queen of wands. So before, it's like you could... You could talk all this shit, but you maybe you couldn't back it up before, but now you can back it up. You're the queen of wands. You're at this new level of confidence of, you know, just sexy, just seductive, powerful. It's like you're genuinely in your power. Before, maybe you were kind of in your power, but you doubted yourself a bit here and there. You kind of dabbled. Now you really are the queen of wands. You really, you can own that power. You can say, this is mine. I earned this. This is who I am. Not just, in, you know what I mean? It's like you're not just tapping into the power. You you are that power. You You embody all that power, all that energy, that passion. You deserved it. You earned it. You You went through that initiation, through that, you know, that, that trial, that, you know, trial by fire, whatever you want to call it, lots of fire energy. But anyway, with that energy, you're becoming a lot more attractive. Like you're, people are noticing that you're the queen of wands. And 
don't get caught up on gender. You could be the king of wands. This could be a man and this could be two women that you, you need to watch out for. Or it could be two men and two, two women here. Like it could be like lesbian or gay couple as well. Just take it as it resonates. There's no um, specific gender here. Even if I say female, if you know you're a man, just, you know, I mean, if it, you know it's for you and you're in that energy and you're male, just, you know, take it as it fits. Um but anyway, with you going through that leveling up, that awakening, it's like you being the queen or king of wands now, your energy is attractive. Your energy is, it's like you've got these these people kind of lurking in the shadows trying to read you, trying to get a, a taste of you, trying to get into your energy field. And you're going to need to watch out because some of them are sneaky. Some of them... I feel like you're manifesting a divine counterpart. You know how there's all this, you see how there's all this shit going on on the sides, and then these two are looking at each other. This divine counterpart, they're, they're looking at each other. It's like they're not focused on all this. They're not focused on this tower or this other person. They're focused on each other. They're, this couple is trying to make their way to each other. They're trying to find each other. Now, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a new relationship that you can feel is coming in. For some, it could be someone from the past, but I'd say like 70, 80% of you, this is a new person or someone that you've just met if, if not someone you're about to meet soon. But I feel like, you know, you being in the queen of wands energy and you being so attractive, you're going to have, how do I explain this? Have you guys ever noticed, it's like synchronicity. Have you guys ever noticed that usually either you're completely single like there's just nothing going on you're just kind of bored and lonely like there's it's just nothing's happening or you have like three or four guys that wants chasing you it's like no there's no in between it kind of feels like that like you're going through a phase where it's like you were just single like there was nothing happening and then out of nowhere it's like you have you know two or more men or women that are attracted to you, that are, are competing for you, wanting to ask you out, trying to get your attention, trying to get to know you. It's that kind of energy. And so I think the message here is basically use discernment. It's also a synchronicity. Like I've noticed that it's like you might, as you're manifesting this emperor, you're, you know, you're putting it out in the universe, what kind of person you want, what kind of love you want. And the universe is hearing you and they're responding. They have someone in mind for you here that they're going to bring to you. And this is a genuine alpha. This is a genuine alpha. This is someone who's strong. They have integrity. They have life experience, wisdom. Like this is an amazing man that you're manifesting. But... There might be King of Swords types that, and the King of Swords isn't always bad, but with him next to the tower, especially, I'm not getting a great vibe in it, at least not in this reading. I feel like with you, again, with you being the Queen of Wands and you being, you know, a powerful manifester and you, you know, calling in this soulmate or twin flame, this emperor, you you bringing this forth, it's, it's almost like there's other men around that hear that signal they hear that prayer you know like if you're if you're a witch you probably know like sometimes if you do like a love drawing spell like a love manifestation like I don't want to be single I want to find love you're going to have like three or four different suitors come in and you have to sort through them and some of them are imposters it's almost like they how do I explain this I'm I'm because I'm feeling it I'm just bear with me I'm trying to word it properly it's almost like they're like a mirror image of the, the true soulmate or the true twin flame. Like they're a synchronicity. They're similar to this man in characteristics, but they're not him. They're not quite the right person. So this person that's right for you, this emperor, like I said, he's, you know, a genuine alpha. He's, he's strong and wise. He's got integrity. He's honest. He's an amazing person that you're manifesting. But, but again, it's like when you put that call out, it's like you have people of similar energy come in, but they're, it's like they're synchronicities, like they're stepping stones to the true divine counterpart. I hope that makes sense. Or they're kind of almost like a mirror, like a reflection of him in a way, like they're, they're showing you what you're manifesting or they're showing you, it's like they're like a synchronicity, you know what I mean? But don't get caught up and just go for the first one that comes along. Make sure you use discernment and go with the one that's the real deal. 
because this one's a true masculine. This king of swords is a toxic masculine. He brings destruction into your life. He brings chaos. He brings drama. Could be a fuckboy type, honestly. Um, there, there's some, there's a tower moment or tower energy in general that comes with this king of swords. You know, he seems similar to this masculine again, because they're, they both have a very strong masculine energy, but this is like toxic macho masculinity. Like he's gonna, he's gonna talk a big game, but he can't, this king of swords can't back it up. You know, he's gonna act like he's got this strong daddy energy, but honestly, he's, he's got a lot of drama that comes with him. He's got a lot of, of aggression that comes with him. He's got a lot of um, control issues, insecurities, pro even, even possibly deep down. He's not the real deal. But I feel like all these people, it's like you, you go from being single to, you know, your manifestations come in and you have all these different options all at once. So again, use discernment, use logic, use intuition, take your time getting to know these different people so you know for sure which one is the king of swords that comes with this tower moment with this drama and which one is is actually a true divine masculine like healthy masculinity versus toxic masculinity you know know the difference use your intuition take it slow with each one of them so you don't get caught up in some kind of illusion And don't get discouraged too. Like if you manifest for a lot of you, I think they're all coming in at once. I think, I think along the same time period, you're going to meet all these people at once. But for some of you, you might meet this King of Swords first and you might be like, oh, I've been manifesting someone. Like maybe this is it. Maybe this is the person I've been manifesting. Maybe this is the love that's been coming in. But use again, you don't, and don't, I'm not saying to shut them out, but I'm saying to use your intuition and take it slow and read them because they might just be that king of swords that's just, again, just kind of a synchronicity, a stepping stone, a, a reflection of, it's kind of showing you you're on the right path, like you're starting to, you're manifesting those qualities, what you asked for is coming in, but this is an imposter, this isn't the real deal, you know what I mean, it's just, it, it's, don't be discouraged and be like, oh, that was just the universe slapping me in the face, it's like, no, it's actually a blessing, it's like the universe is saying, hey, this is a synchronicity, this is, you're manifesting love, you're manifesting you know what I mean? It's like, like a stepping stone, a synchronicity. It's like you're manifesting this, this emperor, take it as a sign, take it as a, a, a sign from the universe of being in alignment of being on that right path, you know, it's like, it, it's kind of like, like, I'm trying to just think of a good example, because I don't want to confuse anyone. Imagine you're manifesting money and you're like, I'm going to manifest a thousand dollars. I'm going to, I'm going to manifest a thousand dollars within one week. And you find $100 in the ground and you pick it up and you're like, oh, this is cool. Like, is this what I manifested? Is this, you know, it, like, why wasn't it $1,000? Like, uh, you know, I try to manifest $1,000. Like, it's, it might not be like the, you might not be at the at that full manifestation yet, but it's, it's, a, it's a sign from the universe. It's like you're in that vibration. You're manifesting the money, even if it wasn't the full amount or, or what you want, you know. I, I don't know if that's even a good example, but you guys, you guys get what I'm saying, right? They're just... Just know which know who the real deal is, know who the imposter is. Let me get let me move on from that. <laughs> King of Cups, the Sun. I think one way that you're gonna know who the real deal is, um, I'm hearing, and this is not for everyone, but for someone I'm hearing he looks like this. This man. He looks similar to this man. But okay, so one way I think that you're going to know the imposter, or sorry, the imposter here um, versus the real genuine masculine is I think this emperor is also going to be a king of cups, meaning he's going to be strong and wise and logical and experienced and balanced, but he's also going to be emotional and romantic and idealistic and vulnerable. You know, he might be kind of, he may take things slow. He might, he might take things slow. He might really get to know you, but I feel like you're going to feel good being around him. With this person, there might be a little part of you that's like, mm, this could be a fuck boy. I don't know about this. Like they seem like, like you're just not going to, yeah, I don't know. It's like something's going to feel off. With this person though, 
with this emperor king of cups, I think this is both the same man here. It's like you're going to feel good around them. You're going to feel warm around them. You're going to feel... It's going to feel right. It's going to feel peaceful. It's going to feel like, like the sun. The sun is like the happiest card of the deck. It's like you're going to be turned on by that masculine energy, but there's also... There's not going to be any emotional unavailability like there might be with this person. You know what I mean? Like, you might feel like this person takes things a little slow, like they don't dive into things, they're very logical, but you're going to feel like they're emotionally open to you and they're pursuing you. They're asking you out, they're trying to get to know you. Even if they're taking it slow, they're still making a consistent effort for you. Tell me more about this. There's competition for you. <laughs> there's comp there's competition for you. Oh. You are in the public eye. Like you are attractive. You are charming right now. And this is justice because I think because you deserve to be in the public eye, like you know you're using that energy wisely. You know what I mean? Like if you're let's say that these all these different people are drawn to you. You're not just like, oh, I'm a bad bitch, like, screw everyone, I'm I'm the queen bee, like, what, you know, you know what I mean? You're like, okay, this is great, I feel confident, I feel, I'm really happy these people are drawn to me, I want to lighten their lives up, I want to bring, you know, light into their lives, I'm, I want to have, you know what I mean? Like, you're bubbly, you're happy, you're, you're, you're not, you're not getting cocky with all the attention you're getting. Like, it might make you feel more confident, it might make you feel more powerful, but you're not, you're not seeing all these people as just dogs. You're not seeing all these people as like, oh yeah, like I would love me that much too. Like you're not being super narcissistic about it. You're just like, you know what? Yeah, I, I do deserve, I do deserve love. I do deserve attention. And I want to, I want to be the best version of myself. You know, it's like you're, you're going about it the right way. You're in the public eye, you're charming, you're attractive, and you're using this energy wisely, which is why you're being blessed with this, you know, glamour, seduction, attraction, all this energy that you possess right now. And it's you. It's also just you getting in touch with your true self. It's part of who you are. You're going through this major transformation. There's justice here. You're, yeah, you're the queen of pentacles too. You, you have financial abundance coming in too. Tell me more about, about, ah, tell me more about this. Why the nine of swords? The chariot. I feel like we just got that in another reading. And it actually, even what, it wasn't with these cards. I think it was with the other tarot deck I used. I got the nine of swords and the chariot. Where... So you could be in the energy group that I just did where somebody, um, I think it was about someone going back and forth between being a queen of swords and a queen of cups and needing to learn how to balance things and kind of bringing in past heartbreak to like to new connections, new, um, new relationships, just in general, like there was some kind of past heartbreak that was holding you back. But I think that I think one or both of you, when it comes to this new love, one or both of you is very damaged. There's anxiety. There's fear when it comes to getting a new, getting to know a new person. But you're going to be taking it slow. Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but they're very loyal. They're very stable. They really take their time. They, they make sure they know all the facts. And when I say slow, like, don't, this isn't somebody that's emotionally unavailable. This is not somebody that's like, you know, going to be missing, like, you know, not talking to you for days or weeks at a time. That's not this energy. That's not what I mean by slow. I mean, this person's going to be, if this is the King of Cups Emperor, I feel like they're going to be talking to you on a regular basis, but they're just, it's like, let's go out for coffee. Then a few days later, let's go out for drinks or let's go out for dinner. It's like they're not going to, you guys aren't going to move super fast. You're, you're both damaged. You both, both have been hurt a lot. You're both going to take your time making sure that maybe you both have been cheated on as well because there's something here about loyalty, like really loyalty being important, important. Like one or both of you wants to make sure that the other isn't the type to cheat so it's, it's like you're going to be taking your time getting to know each other, but it's honestly a really good thing. There's stability here. You're, it's going to feel good to you, you know, the higher font. And there is long-term commitment here. Ten of Pentacles. You got, 
marriage, I, both these cards can signify marriage, actually. Marriage, commitment, home, family life. Like, but you, but yeah, you have to find, you, I, I would say with Knight of Pentacles energy like that, you know, slow and steady wins the race, you know, balanced energy. Um, not rushing into things, really taking your time with each other. But eventually I do feel like it will lead to a, you know, potential long-term commitment there. It's so strange because usually I would just read this as like Son of Cups illusion, but I'm actually, I keep looking at her at, her, at the picture. Sometimes I, I look at the pictures because I'm hearing for someone you manifested this on a full moon. Like you just did a spell or something and this is like you did witchcraft or a vision board or some kind of energy work that's manifested this. Anyway, tell me more about this. Yeah, you manifested this the magician the two of cups i feel like if some of you are witches you might even this might even be saying that you need because three of cups can be third part and then two of cups is like soulmates so you might even need to like when you have if you have all these people coming in at once you might even need to do a spell to to go from three of cups to two of cups where you're like wait like, like stop, pause, ground yourself and, and maybe like a clarity or a truth spell or something of that sort to help you see which one is the true soulmate or twin flame and which one is more of a karmic or more of a, uh, you know, again, like a synchronicity, like just kind of showing you the potential, but not actually the real deal. Yeah, you're out of that period of stagnation. There's no there's no more waiting. There's there's no like the wait is over. You know what I mean? Like that that home, that stability, it's like I think it's it's here. It feels like it's really just here for you. I think this King of Pentacles is gonna be helping you too. I think he's gonna be um be helping you financially or helping you with like a business or helping you study something tell me more about that yeah like you guys might go on a new journey together ten of wands reversed interesting could it be a project that you wanted to give up on because you didn't know how to do it alone and you were stressed about it trying to do it alone and you guys are going to come back to that could be like a dream or a hobby or a project could even be just like wanting to get married and you're like, you know, screw it. I'm single. I, I don't know if that's going to happen for me. Um, for others, it's actually like a business project or it's something that you guys are both passionate about. Like you'll have that in common. Um, but like it's hard to do it alone. So you guys are going to be like a team supporting each other. Why the three of swords? Someone wanted you alone. Someone didn't want you to find love. And they're going to be very disappointed that you're the queen of cups. You didn't stay in hermit energy. You're moving forward and you're, yeah. And they've lost you. Yeah, you're ending that cycle. Wherever that is. You're, yeah, you, you walked away. You walked away from something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting the channel.